be making some deer jerky. Uh, we're going to make ground deer jerky. Uh, we took a deer, we deboned it, now we cut it up, made, made uh, this little nuggets, I guess you call it, little pieces of meat here. We fix it right through the grinder, and I'll show you all the rest of the process, how we've been doing it. Okay, it's finished grinding. I put it in these uh, little plastic tubs here. This is going to be 10 pounds of uh, deer meat. And it's raw, but it's 100% deer meat. I don't add no substitute, no no kind of fats or nothing. This is 100% venison deer meat. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to heat it with a little bit of a, a pink salt. It don't take a lot. Uh, about a half, about a teaspoon. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over my grind up deer. Just give it a good little sprinkling. Then I'm going to come over it with some black pepper. A uh, pretty good little coating black pepper. I, I kind of like the taste of the black pepper. And you can do it uh, however you would like. Cover it up nearly completely where you, you see I lay it all over the top of the deer. And a little grio. This is some good stuff here. It gives it a little bit of a, a kick to it, not too much. And then I take some uh, dry rub barbecue seasoning. This here is made by legs. Put a good dose on top of that. Cover it up pretty good. It, it won't hurt. You put as much as you want on it, the more you put on it, the more flavor it has. And then we're going to run 16 ounces of Dale's State Seasoning Sauce. Uh, I got that little measuring bowl here at 16 fluid ounces and it's got a little pouring spout on it. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to start at one end and it's going to work my way back and forth, coming all the way across it. And then we'll take, uh, I guess it's called a tater potato smasher. Uh, I love the way it works, it's, it don't really. It just mixes it up good. And I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna start working that down. Just pushing it down, pushing it down, work it all over. Kind of stir it, gonna mix all them ingredients together. The more you uh, work it, the better it is. You just gonna Combining all the ingredients, pushing it together. Kind of getting it a little dry look. So, being a 10 pound batch, I'm going to heat it one more time with the Dale steak seasoning, another 16 fluid ounces. Uh, it, it gives it a, a quite a a real good Dale's taste if you love, if you like Dale's, you'll like this jerky. Then I'm going to work it in there again. That deer made to soak that uh, seasoning up in it. Better it is. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I got it all mixed up. I'm gonna take my little thing, I'm gonna just kind of uh, tap the top of it. What I'm gonna do is make it real smooth or even across the top. If you leave it all just sticking up and messed up, it'll get a little, you know, some of it will dry out before the seeding is soaks in. So the more you pat it down, make it look like a big old cake, what I'm doing. Then we'll put a top over it. I like to put a top on it so it don't get no wire. And then it's gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna set it in that fridge there for about 24 hours or till tomorrow afternoon. And we'll get it out and see what it looks like. Okay, after getting it mixed, we let it set in the refrigerator overnight, we let it marinate, and then we just took a jerky blaster. We just run, run it out on our, our trays. We got square trays. Uh, that's kind of what they look like when, before they go in and cook. Uh, notice we got a, I don't know, probably a three quarters to an inch gap in between each one of them for good, good air flow. Our strips are probably a quarter inch thick. Uh, we'll just put them in there and let them cook, and when they come out from cooking, we, we cut them up into smaller sizes. All right, we just finished up with the jerky blaster, got all our trays filled up, and now we're going to load them in the cooker. Uh, one thing to note is our strips are running back towards the pan, not a crop, not a crossways. That, that gives it a little bit better air flow. Uh, another thing you may notice is my cookers have hold like 12 trays, but I've only put five in it. That's what it takes to do five pounds of, uh, of jerky. But what this does is keeps them all right in front of the fan. The fan is about that big around. And uh, I will not have to rotate these trays. It'll cook all good. Now these, this here will cook set it for four and a half hours at 160 degrees that's the high that's the highest temp uh, these dehydrators will cook in four and a half hours it'll be done and then I'll I'll give it about 30 minutes to let it cool off before I bring it out and, and put it in a bag. Right, our jerky is cooked for about four and a half hours. Uh, that's the finished product when it comes out of the cooker. Uh, it's got a good deep good texture to it good, good color to it. It, it won't break, but it ain't it ain't raw, so that there, that, that cooks just about perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna take, I got a pair of this regular old scissors. I uh, got a little pan here. I'm just gonna take and cut it up. And these strips here, I'll make it into three three sections. And uh, then after, then, then it'll go into the bagging process. That's some real good stuff right there. Uh, bagging it. Uh, sometimes we use Ziploc bags, freezer Ziploc bags. You can put it in a uh, small vacuum seal pouch or you can vacuum seal a uh, uh, gallon Ziploc bag. But that's that's how we make our jerky. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll help a little bit. Maybe somebody learned something. Maybe somebody tell me something I can do to help better. But as always, thanks for watching Jeff Little Outdoors. Uh, please subscribe if you hadn't already. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Like us on, follow us on Instagram. And uh, give us a follow on Twitter. We're on all, all the social, social media platforms.